Hey guys, welcome to a bird story. This is a game made by the same people who made To the Moon, which I very much enjoy. And this is not my first time playing it, I admit. I tried to record it the first time, but the recorder crashed and it didn't save the file. So I lost the footage. But I can tell you it's a very good game. The gameplay with these games, the gameplay isn't meant to be exciting. And it's it's all about the story. It's all about touching your heart. So I'd like to ask you to join me on a bird story. Let's go. Now you can see I've played all of it, but I'm going to start at the beginning. Why he's looking at a tree? <laughs> that looks so fun. I wish I could do that. Just throw a paper airplane off of the top floor of an apartment building. That looks like loads of fun. Did he tear all the pages out of that book? What the heck? Okay. Can't fall asleep, little man. What? Okay, this is a weird way to start a dream. Or a game. What the heck? It's a giant paper airplane. How fun. It is three o'clock. Am I in class with my pajamas on? I really hope not. That would be very embarrassing. Unless it was an intentional. Then it would be better. Thank you. 
Squirrels. Squirrels and butterflies. Rainbows and sunshine. I don't think there are any rainbows. What the f- Oh no. Oh, I can understand that feeling. Time kind of stops. Just before all is lost. Oh god. Oh, you son of a bitch. What, what do I do now? Hmm. What? Wait, you won't let me go home? Do I just stand here? Is this really what you expect me to do? Join him. Come on. Nobody will see you. No. Come on, let's go. Oh. Fuck you. No. Fuck you. I can go wherever I want. I don't care what you say, a lady. Okay, that's kind of strange. The lockers are turning into trees. Oh. Just sitting on a seesaw alone. Let's go, man. Fuck school. We don't need school. Come on, let's go home. Yeah. Teacher can bite my ass. I don't need to listen to you. I'm assuming this is our apartment building. Yeah, this is... Yeah. Okay. Let's... We live on the top floor, so... Elevator. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of awkward. Leave. Go. Go. Is this my room? Wait. I don't think so. Is this... Is this? Oh, that must be mine. What? This place has rats? That's disgusting. Mom, we need to move. There are rats here. So what am I, nine? That's what it looks like. Someone needs to pay the electric bill for this place. Oh. Um. Having a little trouble reading there, son. Do you have dyslexia? <laughs> oh my god. Little kids will do what little kids will do, I guess. Let's go do whatever with this note.
You know, maybe he's dyslexic, or maybe he just doesn't care enough to read. That's possible, too. Oh, he's hungry. You need to get some food, little boy. Grow up big and strong. Yep. Watching cartoons. This is literally what little kids do when they get home from school. This is exactly what they do. They jump on the bed, eat some food, watch cartoons, and write in books. Or read books? Looks like he was gonna write. Holding a paper airplane? I, I, yep. <laughs> Look at him. He's having so much fun. Oh! You okay? Ow. This kind of hurt. Yeah, he's like... Is that like his journal? That must be his mommy. Putting a blanket on him. <laughs> Did you just hit that alarm clock with a pencil from across the room? You have some killer aim, bro. Your blanket's glowing. <laughs> you look really tired. We gotta go to school. Let's get our book bag. You want your book too? Oh, that's, that's cute. You drew a picture of him flying a paper airplane. Okay, let's go. I don't think you need anything else. Oh, do you need food? Oh my god. He's Link. It's raining outside. You need an umbrella. No? Okay. What? Oh, holy shit. Okay. I didn't see the light. Let's go on into class. I know the feeling. I know the feeling. Making your way in the world today takes everything you've got. Taking a break from all your worries sure would help a lot. Wouldn't you like to get away? 